welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. This one we're going to call Witch White. Uh, and this is specifically about acrylic. Um, we're gonna talk about some of the most common um, whites that you'll find in acrylic lines. The by far most popular, most well-known white um, in almost every line out there is titanium white. Titanium white is very, very opaque, um, has great coverage, and a super, super high tinting strength. It's like 10 times what um, other ones, uh, the tinting strength of uh, some other colors, like zinc, for instance. Um, uh, titanium um, has a tendency to be on the, the bluish side sometimes in large concentration, and so you kind of have to, um, you know, counteract for that. Um, but in this experiment, I wanted to show you the vast difference from one white to the next. So we had some titanium that we just drew down over um, a canvas board primed with Cheap Joe's black gesso. And you can see that even that small little dab is super, super opaque, and we had a lot of coverage just from that little teeny bit. And with the titanium um, mixed with a little bit of um, permanent red, in equal portions, you can see that the titanium was quite strong and, and tinted it quite a bit. Second, we have zinc white. And zinc white is a very, very popular white. It's transparent. Um, it has a lower tinting strength. Um, and it mixes well with other kinds of transparent colors. Um, so people tend to prefer it over um, titanium because of its subtlety and the um, kind of nuance that you get from that. So you can see even in equal parts that we had um, on the drawdown um, less opacity by you know obvious contrast with the titanium and then a lower tinting strength. We have a, a lot more of this permanent red that's showing through. Then lastly we have um, mixing white which is kind of like um, a half and half. So it's ti half titanium and half zinc. And so you get kind of the benefits of both, but they're not, you know, a clear delineation between either. Um, you can see here, obviously, that the tinting strength is much lower. Um, and so there's obviously a, a little bit more zinc than the titanium. The drawdown, you can see that the opacity is very, very similar to the zinc. Um, and even in equal parts, we had quite a bit of the naphthol showing through. So even in mass tone next to each other, they look very similar, but their behavior is very, very different. So take a look at some different whites. It may change your approach, um, may lead you to some new discoveries. Um, but this is just a little bit about whites that you can enjoy with your painting.